Okay, so hi everyone. Kung meron man pumapasok na. Wala pa ate. Ah, okay lang daw, Hannah. Nag-repeat ka na daw pagka nag-live na rin. Ah, Dito lang sa... Okay, Sige. Isa okay, na daw nanonood, so shout out sa asawa ko. <laughs> Nag-monitor nag kung tama yung ano natin. Paano ko na? Asa sa parang may caption auto-generated pa pala to. Oh. Hindi okay. ba pag may pumasok na dito? Mga friends, pasunod na tayo. Oh, wait, okay, may nanonood na pala. We're not aware. Hindi kami na-inform. Ah. Ah. Okay, so hi guys. Ayun. Oh, hi guys. Sa mga nanonood dyan, viewers namin. So just type uh-huh. in comments nyo kasi 30 minutes pa. Buntay natin yung iba. Hintayin natin si Coach Anjo. Wow, from Doha. Hi, Ate Candy. Oh, from Doha. From Doha pa. I hope we could inspire you or maybe add a little bit of science starting fitness journey. Mm-hmm. Comment lang guys ha, if may hindi questions. Okay. While we wait for other people to join in our... Hi! Hey you! Hey you daw. <laughs> okay, so meron na daw time to <laughs> Yung mga pamangkin ko, nag-hide daw. <laughs> Ilan taon na sila, Hana? And Miss Candy, yung pamangkin. Um, Ate Candy, ilan taon na ba sila? <laughs> start young ba to? Start young Bata. sa fitness? Oo, start young. Start young. Yeah. So, si Coach Anzo na lang yung hinihintay, no? Hi, guys! Ayan, 2 and 8. Ay, <laughs> Pwede ba hindi na ka-landscape? Ayan. Nag-auto-rotate lang siya, Coach. Okay. Sige, landscape na tayo. Okay, so since ako yung nasa PC, I can't see kung ilan yung pumapasok. So, hi-hi na lang and comment down below. Okay, are we are we on? Are we on na? Are we live? Yes, yes. live na first. Ah, okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to check also the comments on my computer. So, we have 23 now. 23 participants, right? I'm going to share it also to my page. 20 na. So, uh, ano ba? Since we're still waiting for others to enter, you can add your, you can send your comments na. I, I mean your questions na. Oi, si Jenkins. Shout out. Shout out to Jenkins and his, I think, basketball. Oi, hello. Hello, Jenkins. Hi, Jenkins. <laughs> Hi, classmate. All right. <laughs> Mamaya kung ano na lang pala sinasabi natin. Nire-review <laughs> tayo ng classmates natin. <laughs> ano sila, mga spectators talaga. Ready na mag-comment ng mga, <laughs> ng mga mali. <laughs> low carb and low fat. Okay? I think ano ito eh, parang, parang timely. Because of all the different diets or fat diets. Na parang we all want to focus on one thing. Parang ganun. What's the secret? Coach Anjo, parang yun. Coach Hana, what's the secret? Ah, ganong tanong usually yun. Oh, we have 28 na. 
Hello, bro, Zandi. Hi, Jane. Hello, Jane. Shout out din daw, Linus. May nagpapashout out. Hi, Tita Army. Saya pala nito. Hello, Miss Drea. So don't hesitate uh, mag-comment if para mapansin din namin if Padami na tayo ng padami, guys. Nag-dinner na ba kayo? Low carb ba o low fat? <laughs> <laughs> Yun ang question natin ngayon sa mga nag-dinner dyan. Low carb ba o low fat ang kinain natin ngayon dinner? Uh, dinner? Hello, Kailangan ba sa dinner ko po? Kailangan sa dinner. Ano? Ano ba coach line is ano bang dinner mo? Low carb or low fat? Sa akin. Or sig- <laughs> secret. <laughs> secret muna. Secret muna. <laughs> mamaya, mamaya guys, malalaman niyo low carb or low fat kami. Baka mag-away-away din kami kasi magkakaiba pa lang. <laughs> magkakaiba pa na. Hi Miss Christine. Oops, sorry. Okay. Wait, 38 na. 38 views. Share, share ko pa sa page ko, guys. Siyempre, mm-hmm. the more, the merrier. Yeah. Kakaangi rice lang daw. Hindi <laughs> totoo yun. Hindi totoo yun. High carb pala. No? Nag-high carb ang diet. None of the above daw, sabi ni Miss Kia. Hindi uh, pa nagdi-dinner siguro. Hindi <laughs> pa. Wala pa dinner. Wala pa. Baka after nito, pipiliin na niya kung ano yung dinner niya. <laughs> Nako. <laughs> Kaya pa pala nag-dinner times ng dinner, no? Takto dinner time. At least hindi ka mukha last time na kukonsensya yun namin. Ayo, sakinain mo. This time, <laughs> papapiliin na. <laughs> papapiliin na yun. <laughs> papapiliin na. O yan. Okay na. So we are now 40, 50 viewers. Wow. Pero syempre, hey. bago lahat, we would like to thank everyone who gave time. You know, you know, spending the time uh, here with us. Oh, Mary, a good question. Could we answer okay. this one? Yeah, it's a very weak. Um, yeah. Ito your first question, di ba? Ayan, coaches. Kaya mas margot. Any insights, <laughs> Guys. Saan, saan na po magkaroon advice sa mga skinny na katulad ko? Ha? Siguro skip muna natin yung low fat, low carb. Huwag muna natin i-focus yun. Pero any okay. advice? Ako, may advice ako. If your goal is to bulk up and to have muscles, definitely you have to eat a lot. Uh, you have to be on a caloric surplus. Diba? Um, kasi syempre, if you're going to... Uh, think of it as an equation, pag caloric surplus tayo, ang end result niya will always be on a weight gain. And if you want to bulk up, you have to you have to increase your weight para magkaroon ka ng muscles. So, yun lang siguro. Mag, you have to eat a lot more than what you're eating now, definitely. Siyempre, sabay hey guys, ano pa mga advice ninyo? Yes. So, hindi magkakaroon ng change sa body composition mo, hindi tataas yung fat-free mass mo or yung muscle mass mo. Kung syempre, hindi ka nag-exercise. So, partner sa kung gusto mo. Ako naman, siguro, just like yung last time, may nagtanong din similar question, di ba, Coach Andrew? Mm-hmm. Na parang, syempre, yan, siguro, next question would be, Coach, hindi ko kayang kainin yung calories. 
So, ako usually na advice ko ha, pwede mo split yung meals. Kasi siyempre, if uh, may distended feeling yung stomach mo, mas maganda, smaller meals, tapos you end up reaching din naman yung caloric goals mo. So, para maabot. Kasi big meals, usually, mas mahirap i-pilip yan pag big meals. Lalo na if Then, I had I had experience be- before ng postprandial hypotension. Nako, science yun na to. Sana walang doctor <laughs> Okay, so yun yeah. na. Postprandial hypotension, uh, na nagbabulk ako, hindi pa ako nag-aaral or nag-research, nagbulk lang ako ng marami. What ended up happening was yung blood pressure ko nag-drop. Nag-drop siya. Kasi para nag-focus yung blood pressure papunta sa sa aking metabolism or sa stomach. So, ganun guys. If hindi kaya i-fix na isang meal, then split natin. Walang masama din. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Right, thank you, Hoches. Uh, sana nasagot namin, Girl JP, yung first one mo. Oy, hi, Bretty. Hi, guys. Ga- sabi ni Bretty, hi guys. Hi Bretty, welcome sa live stream. Hello Bretty. Ito, isa pa ito sa classmate natin. Thank you, na nanagot ka. Oo nga. <laughs> Mabuhay ang si HK. Marami-rami na. Yes, yeah, siyempre. <laughs> Mabuhay. So share na rin pala natin. No? Ta- kaya tayo nagkasama-sama. We're actually uh, graduates of CHK uh, sa UP. And um, the good thing about it, lahat kami meron kaming Uh, first course, no? Bale, second course or, or post-grad course namin to si HK. So, yun na yung pinaka-binding factor namin mga coaches dito sa mm-hmm. collective kinetics. Thank you po. Noted po yan, coaches. So, thank you so much, John Victor Torres. No? Sana nakatulong yung advice namin sa'yo. Yun nakaka-inspire din, di ba? Pag pagkaganyan, pinapresulate yung knowledge yung nabibigay na. Yes, yes. Ano ba? While we wait, ano bang pwede natin pag-usapan? Para hindi muna tayo sa low carb and low fat. Ah, sige. Gato na muna. Question ko sa inyo guys. Paano kayo nakakapag-workout ngayong quarantine season? Ah, ngayon nasa lockdown tayo sa bahay, di ba? Ano ba yung mga efforts na ginagawa ninyo to work out? Siyempre, si HK Jadwitz tayo, di ba? Involved talaga dyan ang pag-workout natin. <laughs> ano ba? Ano? Siyempre, baka gusto nila magkaroon ng ideas on how to actually work out at home. Baka wala silang idea, di ba? So, kayo guys, share natin. Paano ba kayo nag-workout dyan sa bahay ninyo? Sino mao na? Parang, Sorry. parang wala nag-workout pa. Ayos <laughs> 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 Kasi ako, kasi ano, naging, naging time tong, ano, naging time tong quarantine na hindi nakakapuntya sa gym para mag-explore ako ng mga ibang hindi masyadong, ano, so, Um, meron body weight, tsaka yung mm-hmm. kettle bed, so ngayon ako mas ano, kasi yung meron dito ito kasi yung available, so yun yeah. yung matalis kong gamitin. And course, mostly yan yeah, ito, parang mga HIIT or muscle insurance yung ito ko, kasi nga medyo lacking ako of, ano, of weight, so walang progressive overload. Mm. Uh, yung pagdating sa ano, pag-add ng, ng load. Okay. Coach Hannah, kayo ikaw ba? Ako naman. Paano well, ako ka nag-invest na ako? Nag-invest na ako ng gamit sa bahay eh. Kasi ah. mahirap na talaga lobas. So, so far, tuloy-tuloy naman yung workout. Dumbbells, barbell plate, saka squat rack, sold na. Okay na yun. Saka mga bands. Ayan. Gusto ko yung prepared si Coach Hannah eh. No? Kahit na nasa bahay lang ako, mag-workout pa dito. <laughs> Coach, medyo choppy, sorry. <laughs> ano yun? Ay, choppy ba? Oo. Sabi ko, ano, it's a good may... thing na you're usually able to work out. Ah, yes. Oo naman. Ni, so, ano, nag-ask ng advice here. Ayun. Ah, sige. Go, Coach John. Uh, answer muna natin siya. Baka matabunan. Eh. Sige. Oo. Advice on how to find the motivation to work out. Any guy. Kayo, guys. Mm. Ako siguro relate ko na dito sa pag-workout ko uh, ngayon. Wow. Okay. So, sa akin kasi parang it, it became a habit. 
Uh, diniscuss to na yung si namin, Prof. Si Sir Wisdom, shout out. Shout out kay okay. si Sir Wisdom. <laughs> sabi, sinabi niya before na siyempre, uh, eventually, it will become a habit para sa iyo. So, for example, sa akin, it's a habit already. Kaya nga, parang I don't really focus on yung motivation kasi every day talagang yun yung ginagawa ko. Well, siyempre, coach ka eh. So, if you're coaching other people, might as well work out again if you're in the gym or etc. Uh, siguro, this time, kasi ako, I've been training talaga with weights. So, I could relate din dito when it comes to motivation. Kasi, how do I motivate myself to do calisthenics? If ang mm-hmm. habit ko talaga is to take up your weights. If I go back dun sa pinagsimulan ko talaga, it's for health reasons, di ba? Ako, for health reasons. I started out first, siguro dahil, alam niya naman, ng mga kabataan natin, secret na yung age. Secret yung age. Pero, <laughs> yung kabataan, it's more of sa appearance lang, di ba? Siyempre, manliligaw tayo eh. Uh-huh. Pero, when I got older, I really need to find yung motivation na health-related. Kasi nga, I had yung health scare before. Uh, high blood pressure because of obesity. So, yun yung na- ngayon, yun din. Health, health scare din to sa atin. Eh. So, yun nga. I, I look for yung health reasons ko para ma-motivate ako. I mean, different yan. Uh, maybe si Coach Anjo makapag-explain din because sa psych, diba? kanya-kanya tayong motivation. So, it depends on the person. Hanapin lang natin yan. Uh, ano, ano ba? Inner strength or parang gano'n. Ako may suggestion ako how to find the motivation. Siguro, it depends on your goal. Kasi syempre, if you have a goal, you will work hard for it, eh. Or, di ba, parang, let's say you really want to lose weight, and you are really decided to lose weight. Uh, if, you, if you're coming from that position naman, I think the motivation will go naturally. Kasi you have that certain drive to do it. But, ang kalaban mo lang talaga dyan is katamaran. So, even though you're motivated, but your body is lazy or your mind is lazy, uh, things will not go the way you want it. So I guess, kailangan you're mentally prepared if you really want to have a good motivation. Hindi yung basta naisip mo lang na, ah, gusto kong pumayat or gusto kong maging healthy, pero wala ka rin gagawin in the first place. So, I think you have to train your mind. You have to convince yourself na, yes, you need this. Eh, yun. I think the motivation will follow. Ang siguro, ano, another tip, ako what I do, um, kasi I get motivation from, uh, from my idols. So, yun, if I just view their stories, for example, I already feel motivated to work out. So, one of those ways, siguro. Hey, you guys, mayroon pa bang advice regarding motivation? Sa motivation? Ako naman, since very organized and gusto ko lagi yung may schedule, siguro for me, sa people na tulad ko, one thing na makakahelp, para ma-motivate mag-workout is to set a time talaga per day or schedule na kung anong time mag-workout. Para at least mo, alam mo na na, okay, ito yung na-set kong time for workout. So at least may time ka na for that day na in a lot. Tapos pangalawa is, nakadagdag ng motivation if may ready ka na na program na alam mong gagawin na. Kasi how will you start work out, to work out or hindi mo motivate sarili mo mag-start ng workout kung hindi mo din alam yung gagawin mo. So it helps na meron ka ng parang um, program na naka-prepare and a schedule. Parang nandun eh, ready na siya lahat. So gagawin mo na lang. Ayun. Any other... I think that's effective. Yung gano'n, yung may schedule. Kasi, Mm-mm. kasi ako, ako kabalik ko naman ako ni Coach Hana. I'm very unstructured. <laughs> Talaga? Tapos, even with my workout, <laughs> Uh, kung yari, today is upper, upper, mm-hmm. ano, upper, upper day, up, upper body ang workout ko. So, on the spot, I just think of the routine and then dun ko meron siya gagawin. Pero maganda talaga yung meron structure. At least mentally mm-hmm. you're prepared na rin, ah, at this specific hour, mag-workout ako. Mm-hmm. How about Coach Linus? Kasi Siguro Coach sa akin. Martial yeah. arts. Oh, pero buti na lang ako yung huli kasi ano, pwedeng pwedeng pagdikit-dikitin ko yung mga sinabi niya. So yung sinabi ni Coach Anzo maganda yun yung goal kasi pag may goal ka it, it gives you direction eh kung saan ka pupunta. And to find out yung sinabi ni Coach Jan naman na ano yung importance sa iyo like pwedeng yung goal mo important sa iyo is uh, you'll be able to take care of your family. So being healthy is 
uh, good motivation and uh, to get to that level, yung healthier, fit level, yun yung goal mo. And yung sinabi ni Coach Hannah is pwede siya maging part ng preparation or yung goal setting, pagsiset ng goals para tuloy-tuloy mo siya, matatrap mo siya, mamayasure mo siya, paggawa ng smart goals na tinatawag. Thank you, Coach Linus. <laughs> Before we move on dun sa question, another thing since nabanggit nga ni Coach Linus, remember we are motivated by progress, di ba? Kaya nga, tracking yung mga ginagawa nyo, for example, your assessments, you have your assessments before and then after, para makita nyo, saan ba tayo nag- Room, di ba? Ano ba difference? Did we lose body fat? Did we lose weight? Yung mga ganyang bagay. It's something that could help motivate you. Maybe progress pictures would also help you see yung progress mo. Lumiit ba yung waist? Lumaki ba yung, let's say, shoulders? So, it, it's something. Madaming ways yan. And lastly, shameless plug na din siguro for collective fitness. Uh, being part of the community. Being part of a community will help you. Yung nga sabi, diba? like-minded individuals. Diba? Yan, will help you a lot. So, collective kinetics. Hashtag. <laughs> okay. So we still have 10 minutes pa uh, para nakakapas. Hi! Hello friends! Hi Carla and uh, Pearl and Rach. And si Miss Karen, hello. Oh, gusto ko lang to i-show, guys. Uh, maganda to. Mga kaibigan ko rin. Hello, bro. Good day. <laughs> okay, so may, kung may mga gusto pa kayo na sabihin po, Gi, i-post nyo lang or maganda. <laughs> Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. Sabi ni Sorry, Thank you so much. Okay, okay. I agree, no? I agree with Candy na siguro it's, it's part of it din na nakaka-motivate if you are involved with like-minded people. 'Di ba? If if yung mga kasama mo mahilig din mag-workout or gusto talaga ng healthy lifestyle, I guess that's a big motivator for you also to be like them. <laughs> Ako na pansin ko rin yun eh. Depends on the group that you're with. Lalo na if yung group mo mahilig sa workout as compared sa group mo na hindi masyado mahilig mag-workout. Parang ang hirap din hatake ng group na yun to work out with you. Yes. I agree, I agree. Okay. Parang i-connected sa topic natin pa din. Ngayon. Actually, nagkakahatak yun kung low carb or low fat. Oh, no, fat oh. line diet. <laughs> Hello, pa. Hello. Hindi tayo pa pala ang naging cause ng away, no? Ng mga tao. Oo. Oh, nagkaroon ng fraction bigla. Team low carb kami. Hindi, team low fat kami. <laughs> oh, meron pa. Ay, maganda to. Siguro after to. After ng short discussion natin. So we'll get back to this one. I'll note it down there. Ah, yes. Sige, sige. Okay, yan. Hmm. Maganda mamaya, sagutin natin. Hmm. Okay. Si Miss Karen nandito din. May gusto mag-take over kay Coach Adjo. Oh, sige na lang, hi ka na muna habang we're waiting for people to come in. Oh, introduce ko lang yung pamanggit ko. Si Miu. Hi, Miu. Hello. Oh, sige na. Mahilig kasi siya mag-bark. Hi, Miu. Mahilig kasi siya mag-pull up. <laughs> At a young age. Ah, nice. Start them young, di ba? Oh, start them young, siyempre. <laughs> Gusto nyo ba guys, start na tayo? Pwede, I guess uh, people are waiting. Yeah, mm-hmm. we can start. So it's time guys, mag-away tayo regarding low fat and low carb. Sino magkakawihan dito? 
Okay. Ganito muna gawin natin. Sa mga viewers natin, i-type nyo dyan, ano ba kayo? Are you low carb or low fat diet? Team low carb ba kayo or team low fat? Hindi. Ayan. I-type nyo dyan kung low carb ba kayo or low fat diet. Para lang makita natin o may idea tayo kung sino ba yung nandudo sa side na yun, di ba? <laughs> team low carb daw, Miss Karen. Ah, team low carb si Miss Karen. How about si Iba, guys? So, habang nag-type sila, siguro uh, mamaya pansinin natin, di ba, kung ano yung team nila. How about yung Iba, guys? Mayroon ba team? Wala pang team low fat dyan? Wala naninindigan pa? Si Miss Kia Del Rosario, team low fat. <laughs> Ayan, may team low fat tayo. <laughs> Meron third team, team balance diet. Ah, meron. Ay, yun pala, yun pala sabi niya, team balance diet. Si John Victor pala yung team low fat. <laughs> yung third. Maganda rin naman yung balance diet, no? Pero some other topic na siguro yung pag-balance diet. Ngayon nag-focus on, ano, low carb and low fat. Ayan, may mga nag-comment na. Alright, team low carb din si Jonathan Manano. Wala bang team fast food yan? Team fast food. Team yun fast food. Naku, <laughs> <laughs> feeling ko madami yata yun pag team fast food. Ayaw lang umami. Ako, hindi ako matata dyan. Team puro card. Okay, so start tayo. <laughs> Let's Again, discuss let's low fat and low carb. Sino gusto mag-start with their ano on the study? Who the guys? Hold on, ha? Open ko lang. Okay. So sige, uh, I could start muna. Okay. Uh, so, meron, meron ako study. Siguro ito yung ano eh. Ito yung, yung nag-start ng curiosity sa akin. Would be, itong, it's relatively old. It's like 16-year-old study na. Kasi 2004 pa siya. Okay. Pero mamaya, we'll be discussing a more recent meta-analysis. So, kalimutan mo na yung science term. Okay. Basta, yan yun. So, when it comes dito sa si study na to, ang nangyari kasi with the study, the 2004 study, they tested uh, towards some weight loss to, uh, towards weight loss. Low carb and low fat. Okay? So, ang ginawa nila, ang diet group would be, the low fat diet is 76% versus 57%. Okay? Ganun yung ratio nila. Okay? And this is a 24-week trial. So, diretso na tayo. Most of the time, gusto natin makita yung conclusions. Ano ba yung nahanap? Ano ba yung results na itong study na to? So, dun sa study, I have the study in front of me para, para walang daya. Walang daya. Eh. May, parang nandadaya ako. Eh, no? Pero, anyway, ang nakita nila was maikli yung not maikli, pero mas malaki yung weight loss on a low-carb diet. Okay? So, mas malaki yung weight loss on a low-carb. Okay, nananalo na ata si team low-carb. However, pagdating sa fat mass, pagdating sa fat mass, it's the same. Muscle mass and fat mass, it's the same. So, mas malaki lang yung weight loss. So, who wants to discuss naman uh, the meta-analysis or observations nila or added knowledge on the meta-analysis part. Any insights? Yeah. Ako lang muna yung dito sa isang meta-analysis ng 2012. Sila TN at I or mga kasama niya. Um, yung definition lang muna, ano ba yung Pag sinabi natin low-carb or low-fat diet, so dun sa study, 
na ginawa nila. But for the low-carb diet, ang ano nila is equal to or less than 45% of energy is from carbohydrates or yung like sa macronutrients. While yung low-fat uh, low diets is um, less than or equal to 30% naman of energy coming from, from fat. So yun yung ano niya. And I think baka pwede natin yung i-cover dito ako. Ano-ano ba yung mga ano ngayon na kukari yung fat diet or yung mga sikat or kukari may be popular na ano po it says. Any other inputs or insights coaches regarding our low fat low carb studies here? Siguro um this is same study na sinabi ni Jan. Uh, mas mataas yung weight loss ng low carb especially for the first few weeks. Uh, pero sabi sa study it is mostly because then na nag lose ng water weight yung person. So yun yung according dun sa sinabi ni Coach John kanina na study. Kasi nga, ang carbohydrates, uh, pag siya yung um, nag a or yung glucose, nag a siya ng water sa katawan. So if you remove hmm. that one, carbohydrates yun. Bambababawasan din tayo ng water weight. So possible, sa start ng diet mo, like nag-low-carb diet ka sa first few weeks, yung na-lose mo na weight is malaking chance na it's uh, water weight. Yes, that's true. That could be, yes. And mm-hmm. yun nga, that, that, that's the difference between the low carb and low fat. And if I may add, if we look at the meta-analysis, what happens is after a year, it all balances out. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun It all balances out. Because of adaptations na din sa katawan. Okay. Any other insights? Okay. Oh! Ah, uh, ito, siguro, oh, we could figure this out again. So, Coach Linus, again, the definitions, please. Yes. Ah, sige. So, sabi dito din sa study ng 2003, nung nag-test nila, to define yung low-carbohydrate diets. Um, for as long as yung macronutrients from her, and energy coming from carbohydrates is less than or equal to 45% the total, you, you can call it low-carb diet. While the low-fat diet is um, uh, less than or equal to 30% naman, uh, energy coming from fat. From fat. Mm-hmm. So, siguro pwede dito mag-call yung mga, ano nga yung mga popular diet like uh, ketogenic diet. Or maybe yung, uh, dito yung, yung paleo, baka pwede rin na mag-call mm-hmm. sa, sa low-carb. So, pag sa, low-carb ba, parang keto ka na ba? Same ba siya, coaches? Keto? Keto diet na ba ang low-carb diet? Sino gusto sumag- sumagat nito? Any inputs? Meron na ba nakapag-keto dyan sa inyo? Okay, so for our listeners, viewers, meron na ba nag-keto sa inyo? So you can comment if nag-keto na kayo. Pero kayo ba guys, na-try nyo ba mag-keto diet? Like personally, you've, have you tried doing a keto diet? Ako na, try ko personally. So yung... Ayun, maybe you can share yeah. yeah. Yung ginawa ko lang, uh, parang uh, 15 to 30 grams of uh, carbohydrate a day. Tapos, pero matagal na kasi ito eh. Nakalimutan ko kung ilan yung percentage na inalat ko doon sa uh, protein and uh, sa, I think yung fat is parang mga ano nang diet is baka mga minus na uh, 60% or mga minus na ganun so yun lang yung ano ko nun pero parang mababa lang yung calories total is parang mga nasa 1,800 ako na kasi nagtatry lang ako mag-use weight um, to Time, ako na before, <laughs> ako uh, unintentionally before unintentionally lang siya because uh, nagkapat ako na siya at kaya ako magkat din similar kay Coach Nine Weeks. However, uh, 
ano ba, nabibitin yung, yung, yung cut ko ng calories. Kasi remember guys, calories pa rin yan eh. Whether you want to gain weight or lose weight, calories yan. Kaya nga, when I'm cutting down yung calories ko, unintentionally, nakapat ko yung carbs ko. So, nangyayari 20 grams on certain days lang. So, hindi naman, hindi naman kasi ito talaga nag-strict keto eh. There are just certain days na medyo, alam mo na, nag-give tayo sa temptation of fat, fatty food. So, napilitan to drop the other macronutrients. No? Not, not intentionally. So, to answer Coach Hannah's question, uh, it depends. Kasi, yun nga, uh, banggit nga ni Coach Linus yung protocols na protect 50 grams. So, if hindi, if hindi tayo 20 to 50 grams, uh, then it's not keto. Okay? Or we could say, technically, it's not keto. It could be a low-carb diet. Low-carb diet, man. That, yeah. Yes, that could be. And it depends on the protocol kasi may iba din yung so you can consult your nutritionist or doctors. Again, just a disclaimer, guys, we are not doctors. We are sports scientists. So if you want to try out these types of diet na medyo on one side of the spectrum, well, maybe you, you should consult your doctor and your nutritionist. Yes. So let's right. go back. How about you, Coach Angelo? Have you tried a ketogenic style, the diet? Um, siguro masabi kong low carb diet lang but not necessarily ketogenic diet kasi hindi, hindi ko pa rin naman binabawasan yung kumbaga I'm just uh, uh, kumbaga yung binabalance ko yung macros ko with is lower carbs and then I add more protein and more fat but not necessarily diminishing to a lower extent yung uh, low carb diet but for me uh, it's it's affected for me when I'm cutting down the low carb diet. Uh, since uh, you know, since we're trying to eliminate the the, the sugar inside the body, and uh, sempre as much as possible, we don't want that to turn into fat. So it's affected for me. You yung number one go to when when I want to lose weight, I really lower down the the carb consumption rather than lowering the fat consumption. So to elaborate on that, kamukha yan yung sabi ni Coach Hana, di ba? Carbs kasi attract water. So when you drop your yeah. carbs, or not, uh, not carbs, but uh, glycogen. If you drop your yeah. glycogen carbs, diba? you, you would also lose your water. Kaya nga, if you're dropping weight, it is really a good way. Kaya nga, low carb. As long as you're consulting with your Although may question pala ako, no, sa mga nakatry ng keto diet, nagkakaroon ba ng mas uh, sluggish feeling when you're eating a lot of fat and reducing your carbs? Or your your physical, uh, yung physical mo na lakas or yung physical na pakiramdam, is it better or is it mas mabagal ka ba sa mga naka-experience? Uh, sa akin, yun, yun, siguro dahil yung parang mababa yung energy ko nung yun. Pero depende rin siguro kasi yung sports ko is uh, Muay Thai. Eh. Tapos nag-train din ako ng Jiu-Jitsu nun. Tapos eh, syempre yung pace niya, uh, medyo intermittent type siya ng sports. So pa uh, mataas yung intensity ng training, uh, nahihilo, nahihilo ako. Um, so dun yun rin yung reason ng time na yun. Kaya ako nag-quit. Okay. Uh, Okay. Actually, no, separate recommendation ng ah, sige, go. American College of Sports Science. Kung baga, kung maglulupat ka, ang sinasabi dito na is in terms of performance, ang kaya lang niyang parang uh, mamatch na kind of exercise is until moderate intensity. So, mm, if high intensity okay. yung workout mo, hindi na siya kayang habulin na yes. energy source pag fat yung gagamitin. So, yun yung recommendation. Siguro tignan nyo din kung ano yung kind of exercise or ano yung lifestyle nyo. Kung ano yung gagawin nyo kung low carb ba or low fat diet. Kasi ako, since yung kind of training ko is intense, taas yung intensity, so talagang hindi ko pa natatry ata mag, ano, mag low carb kailangan ko talaga kumain ng carbohydrates, especially before training, saka right after. 
Ayan. Okay. Sige, Coach Anzo. Yeah. Kasi tama, di ba? Hindi, yun na nga eh. Kasi nga, we're using more of the uh, glue, other glycogen stores kapag high-intensity training. Kaya talaga really have to choose kung what type of training that you're doing at the same time, what kind of diet you're doing. Okay. So, yun, may mention ko lang pala, no? Sa mga nag-watch party sa atin dyan ngayon sa Facebook, uh, if you guys have comments, uh, hindi kasi namin makikita yung comments ninyo if you're going to type it down sa watch party. Uh, we can see your comments if you're going directly to our page, which is Collective, collective uh, Kinetics, and then dun kayo mismo manood ng, uh, ng cast na to, and at the same time, dun na rin kayo mag-comment para mabasa namin yung mga comments ninyo or questions ninyo. Alright? Yun na naman. As short, paalala na sa mga nanonood sa watch party. Natin. Okay. Siguro I can add another thing dun sa sinabi ni Kuna sa natin. Na since na-try ko unintentionally sa people before, unintentionally, kasi nag-drop talaga ako ng, ng carbs. Uh, mm-hmm. In terms of performance, kasi I train a lot of yung parang strength type and powerlifting type na training. So, mataas din ang intensity, more on sa low reps kasi sa NPV rate. Kaya nga, ang napansin ko din, similar din sa sinasabi ni Coach Linus, medyo gumababa yung intensity ng buhat. Okay? Not necessarily hindi ko nabubuhat yung weight, pero minsan, I'm missing reps minsan. Kasi I feel like, the, ito, siguro anecdotal na lang to, kasi matagal na din naman ang weight. I feel like I'm losing energy dun sa muscles ko nang mas mabilis mm. compared sa habit, having yung glycogen stores po niyo. And I've tried it before. Shout out to the Tracer Wisdom. Nag-testing kami. Uh, nag-load ako ng simple carbs before the testing. Medyo nag-effect naman siya. Kahit, uh-huh. kahit pagod ako for the day kasi nasa class na. So medyo effective siya. So siguro uh, people could look into dun sa possible effects niya sa inyo. Kasi we, remember uh, last time we have three energy systems na pag-usapan yan. So each energy system is not very specific lang. Okay? It works all together pero may nagdo-dominate for your specific activity. Yeah. Or, or, okay. okay. May ba ba tayong mga Any questions yan? Yeah? Ayan, may question si, ano, you might want to post it, uh, Coach John. Merong question si John Victor Torres. Ito, ito siya. So, sabi, same po with Coach Hannah, kasi active po life lifestyle ko. Tama po ba carbs equals energy? Okay, who wants to answer this one, Coaches? Siguro ako sige, na lang muna. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, sige. Sige. Okay. Siguro lang tayo. Sige, I'll ask you a short one na lang. A short explanation. Eh. Uh, just, yun na nga. I-explain na rin natin ito uh, last uh, live stream natin no, about diet. Na when you eat carbs, um, carbs kasi, it equates to, ka- calories is a lot, di ba? When you eat, when you eat food, yun na yung pinaka-fuel natin or energy. Not necessarily it's just carbs, not necessarily it's just your fat or your protein. So imagine your food is actually the fuel for your body, which is your car. So you know, basically not just carbs, okay? But carbs is the preferred energy of our brain or, or the central nervous system. So at least when it comes to the thinking part, siguro mas maganda lang yung carbs na kinakain natin kasi yun yung mas preferred uh, na fuel ng ating brain. So yun na muna, and Coach Hanna can probably add something to that. Ayun. So tama yung sabi ni Coach Tama yung sabi ni Coach Anzo na yeah. lahat naman, carbs, protein saka fat, yeah. lahat sila nako-convert into any energy and ko-convert siya to ATP para magamit ng katawan But then, kaya lang ako for high intensities na exercises, kailangan mo ng carbohydrates kasi siya yung pinakamabilis na makonvert to energy yeah. So yun Siguro, uh, ano din to eh, parang what is the definition of active? Siguro, di ba, pwede natin tanongin yan. Are you active? Oh, si- Oo, nga, tama. High intensity lifting talaga? Ah, or are you active yeah. meaning endurance uh-huh. type ka? Di ba? So, mm-hmm. eh, it all depends on the activity. Diba? Pero right. tama sabi right. ni Coach Andrew, you need to fuel yourself. That's why you need enough calories for your activities. Or else, di ba, uh, your activities might suffer. Uh, 
Uh, in terms of intensity, volume, or in different ways. So since ano, uh, uh, siguro iba tungo na din tong study, no? Uh, this is a, hold on. Okay, so for endurance, di ba? Kasi parang there are a lot of different advanced concepts din kasi if we try to read up on yung scientific journals. So for example, endurance exercises, di ba? Uh, long duration, great ni coaches, it mali. Long duration tayo, usually oxidative yan, which is fat yung ginagamit natin. Okay, so tama naman, uh, fat ang gamitin natin for, for the energy system. However, uh, there's this study, uh, ano ba date nito? Hold on, check ko lang. 2019 study. Tapos they, they studied athletes ng endurance, okay, endurance type of exercises. Tapos ang conclusion nila, if you have low carbohydrates on endurance type exercises, you need a higher protein requirement for sustained uh, activities daw and ano ba sabi dito? Yes. For whole body protein synthesis, proper, you will have to increase your protein. So siguro ano to, parang medyo side note and disclaimer. Now you, you still need carbs, okay? Baka naman pag sinabi nyo na uh, low carb lang kayo, zero zero carb, okay? So your brain, Coach Anjo sabi, uh, sinabi rin ni Coach Hana, and remember, higher protein requirement for endurance athletes if mababa ang carbs. Okay. So, side note lang. Okay. So, may, uh, may nagtatanong. Okay, so ito. Ayan. So, what the fat program ba? Merong kasama na diet recommended when availing session. Okay, who wants to answer this question, guys? Hmm, parang walang gusto sa mga kasi. Coach Linus ko yan, Coach Linus. Sige, so yung usually, yung, ay, share ko na yung kung ano yung ginagawa natin from sa batch 1, di ba? Okay. Tapos yung ano sa batch 2. So, uh, merong dalawang part yung program namin or yung ino-offer namin. Uh, meron siyang parang lecture part sa start. So doon didiscuss namin and last time diniscuss ng mga coaches yung about sa energy balance, uh, yung paano mo magano ng calorie deficit, yung yung calorie surplus, and then saka yung mga, uh, at saka mag-workout or exercises. Uh, diet recommendation, siguro ang magagawa namin is yung strategies to meet yung, uh, yun nga, paano tayo mapupunta dun sa calorie deficit. Uh, and Ayun, paano, para, paano natin ma-achieve yung uh, weight management kung yun ba is mag-lose ng weight or i-maintain yung weight na gusto mo. So, that's all you can talk about. Meron ka ba mag-add? Siguro the good thing about the program is ano, uh, since you get to be introduced to us and uh, we, we are here to help you, siguro along the way, if you guys have questions with your specific diet, we can help. We cannot really suggest a diet plan. Because there are the nutritionists, you trabaho ng mga nutritionists. It's not our job, but as the coaches, we can only advise you or help you with the certain foods that you eat. So you know, to go to when it comes to your diet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Who wants to is start? It, is it possible to gain weight on low carb diet? Ah, okay. Sige nga, sino ang gusto mag-start dyan? Any insights on this? Tatawag na ba tayo? Ako pero doon na mag-start. Pero ano ha, pero correct na lang ako if mali yung thought ko on this ha. Is it possible to gain weight on low carb diet? And again, it depends on how much calories you take in, we, we We call these macronutrients, meaning they're carbs, carbohydrates, meron tayong fats, and meron din tayong protein. So it depends on your body composition, kung ano yung gusto mong ipasok sa katawan ninyo. For example, if you want to be on a low-carb diet, but you want to gain weight, you can still probably do that if you want to be on a caloric surplus, let's say, 
hindi mo nakukunin sa carbs yung uh, yung calories sa para mag-gain ka pa. You can probably add more fat into it. Diba? Let's say, it's, it's ano eh. Kumbaga, you have to sub- add and subtract eh. For example, in order for you to gain weight, you need 2,000 calories per day. Pero, yung calories mo for carbs, nasa 500 lang. So, you have to get it from fat and from your protein sources. So, you know, what's good one. So, probably some of the coaches can correct me if medyo may konting mali dun, or you can probably add something to that. Anyway, gusto guys, add on this one. Is it possible to gain weight? Tataba ba ako kung di ako kumain ng kanin? Parang ganyan yan eh. Oo. Oh, parang... Ang ganyan question eh. Parang sweet. Is it possible to gain weight, fat mass, on low-carb diet? But for me, basta nag-exceed ka sa caloric surplus ka kahit low carb yung diet mo, possible pa rin na magiging ka ng fat mass. Kasi pag yung kinain mo, eh, um, hindi mo na convert as energy, definitely mas store siya as fat. So storage siya sa adipose tissues natin. So kung low carb ka tas caloric surplus, possible siya. Tama ba? <laughs> Habat <laughs> yung di ba yun yung yun usual na mag, mag uh, match or yun yung usual sa keto and ano di ba uh, ang fat is 9 calories per gram pa so kunwari kung sobra at saka nung nag keto kasi ako basa basa lang ako or sabay sabay lang ako ng time na yun and marami kang makikita na nag keto na ang mga kinakain is maraming bacon or parang sa hamburger tinatanggal lang yung, uh, yung mga buns ganyan so, kung kumain ka na sobrang daming gano'n, magkikain ka rin talaga ng weight ko. Nandun ka nga sa calorie surplus. Okay, so ako naman. Ako na kontrabida dito. Mali. Mali lahat. Bakit? Mali. Bakit? Naku, naku. Off camera na. Oh, medyo. Pero, I'm, with, I'm on the same boat din. Na parang if you eat lampas-lampas sa calories mo, it will definitely gain weight. So, ganun lang siya. Uh, it's not the carb, it's not the fat, it's not the prothi- uh, protein, protein that will turn into fat, di ba? It's the excess energy or excess calories. Uh, paano ba siya? You can look at it kasi not just in a daily basis. Kasi let's say over ka sa calories ngayon, so naging fat yan. But under ka tomorrow, Okay? So, mangyayari niyan, you will also use the stored fat as your energy. Okay? So, nagbabalance yan. Hindi naman parang, okay, tapos na ang usapan, nagawasan ko ng calories today, hindi na ako magiging tomorrow. It's not like that. Okay? So, bigger picture pa rin tayo. So, caloric equation pa rin. Tama. Kasi diba dun sa study na nabanggit mo kanina, Coach John, para mm-hmm. parehas naman eh, low carb, low fat, both nag-lose ng weight. Yes. Tama, di ba? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, parang same siguro nung group is naka-deficit yung diet nila. So, kung low-carb man or low-fat, nag-lose sila both ng weight. Yep. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, siguro, okay. Uh, bago tayo mag-move on sa questions, uh, parang final take natin ng low-carb, low-fat, o parang position or opinion natin, are we too okay. low-fat? team low carb or kamukha nga na nagsuggest team balance diba? gusto natin mag team balance may award ba sa teams <laughs> okay sino gusto mag start sa position nila kaya na lang kaya na lang <laughs> siguro ako na mabilis lang no? siguro it really depends on your activity na lang if you are that person, not necessarily with working out, uh, with your everyday life or with your work, if your work requires you to be really active, yung tipong medyo high intensity na rin yung ginagawa sa activities, I guess we should try to avoid the low-carb diet. Kasi nga, 
mas mas ano eh, mas yun yung ginagamit natin when you're doing high intensity high intensity work as compared to a low fat which is talagang mas steady state and long endurance type of workout or or type of uh, work so siguro mas ganun na lang type of work doon tayo magbe at least when it comes to my concern about you guys ano how do we end this sum it up Ako naman na siguro, iksi lang naman eh. So, kasi dun din sa, ano, sa binasa natin na, or um, na-mention natin sa thematic review na, maliit lang din or yung, yung, yung sa result pagdating sa weight loss and even yung reserve conference nung tenest nila yung low carbon, uh, low fat. Tapos yun ngayon doon sa 2012 na talking about risk factor, yung ano nung yung, yung, yung study. So, tinitignan doon na Medyo nag-result yung, uh, yung low yung low carb sa ano sa medyo increase yung uh, metabolic syndrome risk factors na uh, ano ba yung mga ano ano ba yung mga yun um, so increased blood pressure high blood sugar levels yun excess fat around the waist uh, high triglyceride levels or low levels of blood cholesterol so pagdating doon pwede mong tingnan yung factor na kung ano yung needs mo doon sa iyan mo na i-adopt mo na diet uh, like kung sa kunwari sa akin yung uh, depende sa activity like sa sports na gusto ko uh, kung ano yung like kasi siya nga uh, anaerobic system yung ginagamit sa umpisa eh nauubos agad ako yung time na uh, low carb kasi yung ano ko so hindi siya nag-work sa akin hindi siya mag-fit sa akin pero kung yung weight loss or Uh, weight maintenance yung target kahit ano naman sa dalawa basta yung yun, fit sa need mo and isa rin siguro na yun, maganda is kung makas-adhere ka sa isang diet yun yun siguro yung, yung sources kung paano mo siya i-prepare mga ganun kasi ano siya eh mm, looking uh, too much dun sa details ng isang ano well lagi naman natin yung sinasabi dito sa uh, sa what the fuck na yung caloric equation or yung energy balance yung nagdi-dictate kung we will lose weight, we will gain weight, or we will maintain our weight. So yun lang sa akin. Mm-hmm. Siguro sa akin, kung for example, ang goal mo is mag-use ng weight, wala ka masyadong activities, or yung exercise mo is yung uh, hindi masyadong pang athlete type or hindi ka magko-compete. Uh, take ako sa, or pwede magsimula sa balanced diet muna. Pero yun nga, ang ipofocus nyo na lang is yung caloric uh, deficit. So, bakit ako lang yung pwede yung basis na parang recommended diet si Sir Rev yung nagpakita sa amin to nito nun eh. Nasa, paano ba to? <laughs> Eto siya. <laughs> so, yung my plate. So, so far, pag ganyan yung itsura yung plate nyo, Um, masasabi mo na balance yung diet mo as long as yung kinakain mo is mas uh, mababa kesa sa or mas mataas yung energy output mo then maglulose ka ng weight plus hindi ka magkakaproblema kung magkakaroon ka ba ng deficiency sa mga micronutrients or vitamins kung masyado kang naglow at yung mga ganong bagay kasi pag look too much or sobrang binabaan mo yung fat mo, possible magka-deficiency tayo dun sa mga fat-soluble vitamins natin, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung A, D, saka E, and K, addict. Ayan. So, ako i-recommend for sa mga beginners, okay yung mag-balance diet. Basta make sure na caloric deficit tayo or increase yung energy output. Ako naman. I guess you might. Ah, sige, sige. Ayan. Since nasabi naman na lahat, di ba? Ah, uh, nandun din ako sa team balance diet. Team balance diet first. And siguro I could just give reasons bakit team ba- balance diet. Kasi remember guys, there are other implications outside weight loss nang pumipili tayo ng isang macro. Okay? So pagka let's say pinili lang natin carb lang, fat lang, uh, we're neglecting yung ibang contributions ng mga macros na yun Just like it is a study na pinakita. We have low carb even if you're on endurance type na, na exercises, you will need to up your protein intake. Diba? So may mga ganong kasing mga effects pagdating sa diet natin. Katulad ng sinabi ni Coach Hannah when it comes to yung vitamins mo. And 
and let's say low carb ka, you get your fiber then, your dietary fiber, sa carbs din, di ba? So you might not be able to meet yan if kayo lang. Kaya nga lagi sinasabi, balanced diet. And if you're really dead set on going into a certain macro, siguro the best way is consult your doctor and a nutritionist first. Kasi uh, one thing din kasi when it comes to doing a low-carb diet, when it comes to your, uh, ano ba tawag dito, yung fat level, yung good fat and bad fat ratio, parehas sila yung ratio. However, tumataas din kasi ang low-density type of protein or yung bad fat mo on a low-carb diet. Kaya nga, if you're already over the top when it comes to your LDL levels, di ba, baka there, it might be something na you want to consider. And doctors and nutritionists could give you a better insight on this. Tama. Kaya nga, my plate, team balance diet for the win. <laughs> May ganun eh. <laughs> Hashtag, okay. So, sumunod na tanong pala, no, kung ano yung MyPlate, madali lang siya ma-search sa Google, just type MyPlate, and then from there, marami ng pictures that you can see how distributed yung grains ninyo, yung protein ninyo, yung carbs ninyo. So, andun lahat, makikita nyo what it's like. Madali siya ma-search. And abang kayo sa page okay. namin. Who knows, okay. we might post this one, di ba, sa page. Diba? And comment down below if it's easy to follow, diba? or it's not as easy to follow, diba? nasa sa inyo yan. Okay. okay. Are we still going yeah. to answer some questions? Yes. Ayan. Ayan. Yeah. Learning a lot, coaches. Thank you so much. By the way, is it really important to reach your macro goals per day? Does it affect the fat loss or muscle gain process? Or does it matter in general? Ah, okay. That's a good question. Okay, okay. okay who wants to start this? <laughs> okay, I, ano, I can probably start on it ano, for the Siguro, ano, if you want to be serious about your weight gain or weight loss, I guess you want you want to be for yourself. You want to be strict on your macros. Because if let's say nagbago yo yo ka, minsan ang taas ng macro mo, minsan di mo na hit yung macro mo. So yung goal mo mas talo nito matagal. As compared to every day, you're daily hitting your daily macros. Kung kung ilang kung ganon mo talaga kailangan yun, so mas palapit ka ng palapit sa goal mo. Siguro that's the problem with people who doesn't really track their macros. No, yung yung nagtatan sa lang. Mahirap, mahirap malaman ni, eh. mahirap malaman kung nasaan na kayo with your daily food intake. Hindi mo alam na soba-soba na pala yung calories mo. Lunch pa lang. Lunch pa lang, tapos ka na pala dapat kumain for your daily macros. And then kakain ka pa ng dinner mo, may merienda pa. So, ibig sabihin, soba-soba na yun for that day. So, if you really wanna be serious with your goal, whether it's to uh, gain weight or losing your weight, you, for me, you have to count it, you have to track it para mas alam mo eh. Parang you... You can imagine where you are at your at at a certain day. Kung ano na yung kinakain mo, natatrack mo siya. It's in that sense. So yun yun sa akin yun. So it is important if you wanna be serious about your goal. Hey guys. Meron pa ba? Okay. Ako ako siguro. I share ko din yung insights ko dito. So does it affect? Siguro dun ako magfocus. Eh. Does it affect the fat loss or muscle gain process? Siyempre, your muscle needs protein kasi. Diba? Your muscle needs protein to build and repair. Siyempre, not just protein. You might mistake yung sinasabi ko na protein lang. Pero, uh, you definitely need protein to build your muscles. And paano siya nare-relate din sa fat loss? So, if you're not tracking yung macro mo kasi, you might not be building yung protein, ah, yung muscle mo agad. You're repairing yung muscle. And remember, a pound of muscle could could help you burn 60 calories more. Kaya nga, in terms of fat loss, if you're not really gaining your muscle through diet, diba, to, uh, diet and exercise, then it might not be maximizing your fat loss. Kaya nga, does it matter? Yes, diba? Uh, I'm not saying naman to take in absurd amounts of protein. There are recommendations out there from 0.8 grams per kilogram body, body weight to a, pa, a, a gram per pound. So parang ganyan yan eh. Okay, so again, nutritionists would know better when it comes to your daily recommended values. 
Kaya nga, it matters siguro para sa akin. Shoutout pala kay Mark Milete, uh, UP Volleyball. Okay, women's Volleyball. May, may comment siya sa watch party. Eh. So, hindi natin uh, Thank you okay. na kay naman comment mo. Siguro, I'll post that later. So, may insights pa ba? Or let's move on? Siguro, ay, ay, ano ko lang. Pero yung din lang kasi diba na mention yung protein. So, isa sa magandang uh, benefit siguro or parang pwedeng ano na, uh, yun nga, benefit na, na, na nahihit siya daily is yung ilan sa mga effects niya like yung satiety yung matagal kang uh, magutom ulit and yung tinatawag na thermic effect uh, of food na mas matagal siyang ma-breakdown so doon pa lang parang may mga na-prevert din yung calories sa pag-breakdown ng protein so yun lang siguro yung isa sa ano na, kung nahihit mo yung, yung kung ano particular na macro na yun, na pwedeng advantageous siya doon sa target mo na uh, na fat loss or muscle gain process. Okay. Uh, how about Coach Hannah? May pahabol pa ba? May regards sa ano ba? Macros sa akin na. naman, sa macros, um, sa akin, helpful mag-track ng macros or kahit estimate kung hindi ka pa masyadong marunong mag-track. Especially, pero pag, pag weight loss or siguro pinag-uusapan natin yung pag-gain ng muscle, malaki din talaga factor pag tinatrack mo siya, especially yung protein, kagaya ng sabi ni Coach John. So, in general, I think, uh, good siya na matrack mo yung macros mo. Lalo na yun nga, sabi ni Coach Anjo, kung strict ka talaga sa goal mo, may gusto kang ma-reach, okay siya na kung mag-work siya sa'yo, okay siya. Pero again, guys, the my plate recommendation, it would also help kasi uh, makita niyo naman yung uh, percentage ng protein. So, it would help mm-hmm. you yun naman yun, uh, roughly the daily recommended value. So, uh, meron pa ba kayo ng... Question pa ba? Meron pa. Ano ba? Meron pa eh. May questions pa tayo pwede masagot. Coach John, sige, you choose the question. Meron pa. Marami pa tayong pwede ngayon. Pwede bang kayo sumagot na itong question na ito? <laughs> sa mga weight na galing. <laughs> sabi niya, uh, hello sa weight. Sige, sige. Precious. So sabi niya, coaches, pwede ba mag-workout early morning kahit wala pa food intake? Ah! <laughs> so siguro parang pwede natin i-relate dyan yung mga fasted state of workout, di ba? Uso rin kasi yun eh, yung nag-fasted state ng workout in the morning. Uh, siguro ang input ko dyan, uh, for me kasi ano eh, whether you eat or whether you don't eat, it's still the same amount of calories you intake daily anyway. So, so for me, if you want to have that, the feel, the energy that you want in your, with your workout, you can eat your pre-workout meals as compared to not eating at all. So, it's a matter of ano eh. Because at the end of the day, even if you don't eat, or even if you, you know, if you eat after your fasted workout, di ganun din, you still consume the calories. Eh, di ba? Parang, parang minug mo lang eh. Minug mo lang yung food intake mo right after the workout as compared to eating it before the workout. Pero for me, ang perks ng eating before the workout, it gives you that energy pa for that specific workout in the morning. Oo nga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yun yung input ko dun sa question na yun. Pwede naman, pero wag mo lang expect na okay masyado yung performance mo. Oo, yun nga eh. <laughs> Hindi ka optimal <laughs> performance kapag wala kang sinain. Uh-huh. Ako ay tried uh, siguro yun din tama yung sabi nga ni Minyo, Coach Anjo and Coach Hana na parang pwede yan pero at the end of the day nga kung sumobra yung calories mo it will still turn it to fat etc etc so let's look at the bigger picture nga eh. hmm. how much calories ba yung napapato mo throughout the week throughout the months throughout the, the year diba? so parang ganun na nangyayari dyan yeah. so fast yeah. You might be burning off yung glycogen stores mo kasi wala kang ibang stores, di ba? And baka nga wala na din. There are studies out there na pagkagabi na tulog ka that's already fasted, so you deplete a little bit more, uh, unti na lang yung natitira. 
So, yung pagdating sa performance kasi dyan, yun nga, gano'n ba kaya intense yung kailangan mo for the workout? Yeah. Diba? If, if wala yeah. naman, let's say, super light dyan, you might be able to get away with it. Pero let's say, there's a target goal for that day, let's say, a certain poundage din for intensity, mm-hmm. you might not be able to hit yung target mo because of low energy levels, yeah. low glycogen stores, so, okay. okay, so coaches. Pili kayo ng question pa. I think marami pa dito eh. Ito, should we tap the question about intermittent fasting? Okay, sige. Tap, tap. So, what are your views on intermittent fasting? Ako. Intermittent fasting. Sa mga na-experience muna, ano ba? Kasi ako hindi, hindi ko pa na-experience mag-IF eh. Sa mga na-experience sa inyo guys. Kayo ba? Eh? Kayo guys, may na-experience ba? Mga isang araw Wala. lang. <laughs> 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 hindi kila. <laughs> ah, sige, who wants to give the insights first? Kayo ba? Na-experience ko? Kaya ba? Ikaw mo, may sabihin ka na eh. Ako? Nako, baka i-bash nyo ako ah. Walang, walang mag-judge. O, oh, sige lang. Go, go, go. Hindi, pero I've tried intermittent fasting before. I've tried it okay. before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've read studies din naman about it. Na parang, there, mm-hmm. yun nga lang, it's relatively new. Hindi ganun ka deep pa yung stu- hindi ganun karami pa yung studies. Kasi remember guys, hindi naman pa to masyadong ginagawa before. Unlike other methods like yung balanced diet, di ba? I think mga 1970s, 1980s, meron na yung mga recommendations. Eh. But intermittent fasting, bago pa lang. So meron yung promise. Uh, meron din mga test yan on rats, etc., etc. Pero yun nga sabi ko, ah, uh, Sa akin kasi it became inconvenient kasi syempre you're coaching, you're working, tapos I'm fasting, tapos parang I have to work out on a certain hour na minsan hindi fixed kasi kung kailan lang ako walang client. So ang nangyari, parang minsan nag-work out ako ng fasted. So I'm not hitting the numbers. Remember guys, strength training ako. So this is not for everyone. Strength training ako. So I have certain numbers that I have to hit for a certain day and a certain week. So, hindi ko siya ma-hit kasi nga, uh, fasted yung training. Kasi, wala akong choice kundi to work out on that hour dahil throughout the day, may mga clients ako tapos pupunta akong school. Kaya, drill up. Okay. So, when it comes to adverse effects naman, uh, anecdotal naman to, uh, wala naman nangyari sa akin uh, na like na hospitalized or anything. But guys, remember, there are other interactions whenever you choose a very drastic diet. Okay, so baka nga low blood sugar level, levels if you're a little bit on the diabetic side. Diba? So, uh, ganun pa rin. Uh, same pa rin ang, ang advice ko dyan. If you're going for drastic type of diets, better to consult doctors and nutritionists. Diba? And also inform your coaches ano sinabi ng doctors para at least di ba they could adjust yung workouts niyo for you okay kasi baka pinayagan na kayo ng doctor niyo pero syempre we have to adjust your workouts din okay any other insights uh, agree din ako kay coach Jen so pagdating din sa uh, weight loss or weight management sa uh, intermittent fasting uh, sa akin naman, kasi dalawang ang best ko siya na try, yun nga nung dati pa years ago na yun. Kasi parang minsan partner siya ng ano yun, sa low-carb diet eh. Parang yung iba nag a intermittent fasting din. Tapos yung isa na yung cases na nag-intermittent uh, fasting ako, so parang sa akin ako yung uh, coach guy na dahil lang, dahil sober, dahil yun nga, parang minsan ano kasi, so punta sa gym, ganyan, tapos may mga clients na agad. So, Parang nangyayari kung pagkari uh, 8 o'clock ako last nakakain dinner, ganyan. So parang mga after lunch na ako nakakakain. So parang yun naman, hindi ko sinadza na pumunta sa intermittent fasting or mag-intermittent fasting. Pero may, matagal yung hours na hindi ako na fasted state ako. Pero pagdating dun sa weight loss or weight management, parang ano lang siya eh, parang pwede lang rin siya maging tool 
Yeah, kasi kung konti lang yung eating hours mo, kunwari, parang yung iba kunwari, parang uh, ba, 10 hours, tas nasa office. So, parang kung dalawang meses ka lang mag-free, dalawang meal lang yung ma- may ipapasok mo dun, parang medyo mahirap na mag-surplus. Or, ano, not, not unless sobrang dami mong baon, <laughs> or sobrang dami mong bibili na pagkain. <laughs> pero kung, panwari, ano, pinagandaan nyo, ano? Oo, pero, Di ba? Parang kasi kung konti lang, konti na lang oras mo yun, konti na opportunity mo yun sa big mo. So, it. And then, may hit mo talaga yung pwedeng calorie deficit or hindi ka talaga lalat pa so you'll maintain your weight. So, ayun, pwede ko siyang gamitin tool pagdating sa ganun. Dahil dun sa hours given na ano, kung magiging strict ka dun. <laughs> yun na siguro pagdating. So, oh, ayun. Uh, tama, tama. Kasi, yes. Sige, go, Sanjo. Go, Sanjo. Hindi kasi, hindi, i- ano ko lang, sa-support ko lang yung sinabi nga ni Coach Linus na maybe depends on your daily schedule din. Let's say if your work requires you to be in a fasted state dahil konti lang nga yung time mo to eat, then maybe that can work for, for you. Pero yung, uh, when it comes to your weight loss or weight gain, medyo yung kailangan mo magbaon dito if you want to weight gain. Kasi mm-hmm. sa short amount of time na kapag pwede kang kumain dahil yun yung only available time mo, you have to be prepared. Diba? Kailangan ma-hit, ma-hit mo pa rin yung daily calorie intake mo if you wanna gain weight. Mm. Parang ganun nga. So I'm just supporting what Coach Lyons is said. Yes, Coach Lyons. Uh, siguro, yun nga din eh. Another thing is, pag nag-bulk ka nga, remember yung stomach mo, may certain size yan. So if you're eating one meal a day, tapos hindi ganun kalaki yung stomach mo, you will feel distended for that certain meal na you might not be able to put in, let's say, 3,500 calories. Diba? Let's say you're trying to gain this much weight, 3,000 calories, 3,500. Medyo marami yun, guys. Baka <laughs> PR break ang pangyari sa atin. Tra, diba? So, eh, tama yung sabi. Tama, eh. Tapos walang oras, walang oras. <laughs> <laughs> Parang kakain ka ng malaking meal in every 20 hours. <laughs> Pero diba, ano eh? I've learned this, eh. I've learned this from, ano, okay, Sir Wisdom's class nga. You know, at least your protein intake natin, it has to be even as, as much as possible, it has to be evenly distributed within the day. Since yung protein kasi natin, it's being used not just by our muscles, but for our, yung maraming use niya ng iba't ibang katawan natin, parts of our body. So, as much as possible, we should have a continuous supply of protein. So, maybe with that, I think you have to really schedule with your protein intake. But again, it depends on your schedule, I guess. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. How about Coach Hannah, would you like to try intermittent fasting in your type of workouts? <laughs> would that fit in you? Oh, or your type of lifestyle? No? <laughs> Ay, disconnected this Coach Hannah. Ay, hindi na. Hindi na talaga. Hindi, hindi na pa clear yung ano, connection natin. Yes. Uh, Hindi siya ganun. Ngayon, okay na, Coach Hanna? Sa- medyo sapi yata yung... Can you hear us properly, Coach Hanna? In concern niya ata, Coach uh, John, medyo sapi yung uh, natin, conversations natin. Parang na-chapi yata si Coach Hanna. Di ba, like, connected naman kami? Okay, so nakakapag-message siya. Okay, ah, I- <laughs> uh, yeah. I-shout out ko lang ito si ano, Christian Castro. Sabi niya, thank you po, Chester, in the left from you, guys. Yun, good to you. Madami ka na po na tunan, bro, and thank you for listening. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So, siguro, uh, since uh, may tech difficulty si, si Coach Hanna, maybe we could move on muna sa isang question. Tapos, let's check muna. I'll check pala. Okay. Uh, I'll help Coach Hanna din. When, when, Go. So siguro ito, what's your view on this one? Kasi I think uh, si Miss April, diba? this is a new topic for us. Any studies related to Asians as diet meat, we vary off in different races. But Asians eat a lot of rice. And the vocations tend to consume more animal and dairy products, I think. Okay. Okay, sige. I'm sorry for my question. Eh. It depends on the race. Eh. Siyempre, bawat, bawat race na naman iba-iba yung diet natin. Saka yung available food 
that we eat ay culture na rin natin. Like tayo sa sorry, tayo sa rice nga naman. Ano. Sige nga, who can start this? To be honest, I haven't really tapped on this issue yet or in this topic when it comes to uh, culture differences or different places when it comes to their diet. Pero, I'm not sure. I, I cannot quote anything about it. How about you guys? Okay. How about you, Coach Linus? Hmm. Wala pa akong, wala akong specific na study na nabasa lately or before din sa uh, Asian. Yung parang compare yung Asian diet or Asian diet. Pero, before before yatong topic natin, isa sa mga nabasa ko is uh, saglit lang po lang po lang. So sabi dito, yung title is Obesity, Diet Quality, Physical Activity, and the Built Environment. So the need for behavioral pathways. So parang tinitingnan dun sa study yung kung gaano kakalapit sa mga fast food, ganyan, or kung gaano kalayo yung lalakarin mo to get to work. Tapos kung mag increase ba yun nung, ano, nung, 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 yun nga, nung physical activity mo or uh, makakahelp ko siya dun sa, sa, sa weight, weight management. Pero ano pa siya eh, hindi dun sa study, dun sa conclusion, walang naging link between uh, sa, dun sa environment kung nasan yung mga na-test. And then dun sa, yun nga, sa result pagdating sa weight loss or increase in uh, physical activity or dun sa pag ano nila to exercise. Uh, so, siguro pagdating dito, depende pa rin kasi talaga eh, kung, yun nga, Asians uh, sa atin, parang siguro pwede nating gawing example uh, ano yung mga nag-work ng physical physical heavy na trabaho. ba Like yung mga nasa construction or ano. ba sobrang ta- ano ng rice nila taas ng ano sila sa intake eh, because of ano yung need na or dun sa ano nila pero or, kasi kailangan nila no, dun sa work nila pero ang, sila din yung mga ang gaganda ng katawan dahil pagdating din sa ano yun nga yun, sa calorie equation dun sa ano physical activity na ginagawa nila uh, hindi nagaano kung gaano kadami yung rice <laughs> dun sa diet nila <laughs> siguro na sa akin Parang depende pa rin eh, sa ano mo, kung, kung nasa, kahit nasan ka, pero kung paano yung intake mo naman, or ano mo. Okay. Ako naman siguro may view, ay, show ko po sana para, para makita. Ay, ito ba yun? Wait lang, ito pala. Okay, so may nagtanong kasi, uh, uh, studies related to Asians, diet needs now, etc., etc. So, Siyempre, go to ano tayo, hanap agad tayo ng science articles dyan, di ba? Uh, when searching for science articles, ang nakita ko din, just like Coach Linus nga sinabi, medyo wala pa masyadong studies on this one. And ang nakita ko kasi na medyo specific on the, regarding the question would be a 28, ah, 28, 2008 study, di ba? Uh, the, the 2008 study is, ano ba title niya, hold on. Race and diet interactions in the acquisition, maintenance, and loss of bone. Okay, so parang ganun siya. Pero ang uh, conclusion din niya is just like yung sinabi din ni Coach Linus from the other stud- study, na ang sinasabi dito is it's still unclear if it's more research. Kasi, uh, for example, they tested yung bone densities with regards to the diet, etc., etc. Nakita nila na parang mataas yung uh, sa bone density when it comes to African Americans. Okay, so parang ganun yung sinabi. Tapos may mga rankings dito eh. So, no mga, no mga bone density. However, when it comes to uh, African Americans and white uh, Americans, Caucasians, same din yung reaction when it comes to sodium, etc. Et Kaya parang sinasabi nga nila na there's still no, it needs more studying. It needs more studying. But the, the adaptations there and the interactions there between the macronutrients based on this study, they just similar nga siya. Parang, uh, yeah. for example, black, uh, I mean, Afro-Americans, adolescents have higher calcium retention than what uh, Caucasian adolescents 
across a wide range of calcium intakes, which contributes to their higher peak bone mass. However, uh, both will retain less calcium on high salt diets. Maybe to be that's already two, two races na con, uh, compared, but they react the same on high salt mm. diet. Okay, so parang ganun siya. For Asians, it's still unknown, but based on the two comparisons, same pa siya. And again, for studies na, mas maganda, mas marami before we arrive to a conclusion regarding that, that one. Yes, Although yes. based on experience din kasi, uh, with regards to the macronutrients naman, uh, I react similarly naman. Okay, so I'm, ako, hindi ako pure Filipino. Uh, similar din naman ang reaction to compared to my pure Filipino friends. And pagdating naman, reaction na guys, reaction. It's not genetic predisposition on bone and hormonal blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's not go to science about that. Pero ang, yung, yung anak ko din, mix na din siya. Uh, same din naman yung adaptation. Siguro there could be little differences. Pero eh, studies should be mas marami pa nga. As per recommendation of the 2008 scientific okay. okay. So, so sana okay na ba? Okay na yung connection? Same pa din. Same pa din daw. Um, sorry, may so choppy na kaunti. <laughs> Pero tinatry okay. ko kung right. mag-catch up dun sa sinasabi, pero medyo putol-putol kayo. <laughs> okay. So, okay. yung question, no Coach Anna, would be this one. Do you have insights on this one? A specific diet for Asians. Siguro another thing dito is would be psychological implications, di ba? Kasi sanay tayo, for example, for Filipinos, sanay tayo to eat rice, di ba? Sanay tayo to eat rice, so not psychological, pero siguro motivational. It's it's a better term, motivational aspect. Siyempre, baka we want to eat more rice, kaya we're more geared towards a higher carb na diet. Diba? When it comes to adherence to a, yun nga, diets should be lifestyle changes, not just a one-day thing. So, baka ganun yan. Okay. 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 Tama, parang nag-read din ako dito. Kasi ito, wala naman ako nabasa nga na dito. Study. Parang ano ko lang, observation. Kasi talaga sa job man, medyo mataas. Parang ano rin natin sila yung pagdating sa rice or sa carbohydrates, mm-hmm. paano rin sila. Pero baka dahil dun sa ano, kung yun nga, psychological or yung sa culture nila or yung sa ano nila, mas, mas madami silang lakad dun eh kaysa ano, yeah. uh, sa kailang or yun nga, mas ano sila. So, ang taas yung physical activity nila everyday, baka kaya isang possible reason na ano. So, might not affect kung ano yung... Um, kung Asian or okay. may questions so po ba tayo say, na... is it safe to say na at least when it comes to you reaction sa katawan it's almost the same as any other race at wala pa naman siyang ganun karaming study din to support if there are big differences when it comes to that mm-hmm. or still not sure we cannot say it for sure, for sure na may ganun. Since school lang pa talaga ang study. Yeah. So siguro ano na lang. Siguro if we can find more studies on this, or maybe you guys can help us uh, look for more studies when it comes to different races. And then probably we can still talk about it more in the future. Uh, talk that we can do. No? I-share na lang natin sa ating collective genetic yep. stage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So do we have more questions to answer? Uh, most of the studies kasi guys, you know, para in relation to different races din naman ang nangyayari sa, sa kanilang population. So the adaptations, nakikita naman uh, when it comes to everything, it's still the same. Oh, guys, may question tayo. Sige, <laughs> may question tayo. 
Pure wisdom. Okay, so ready. Ang tanong, may grade daw to. So, kung sino students na may Okay, sige, go sa answer. Ano ba yun? Ano yan? Okay. Ang tanong ni Sir Wisdom, sabi, ano ang mas masarap? Protein plus carbs or protein plus fat? Ah. <laughs> Sige. Siguro, sagutin ko yun, nila kay student na ngayon. <laughs> ang, ang question naman ni Sir Wisdom, ano eh, ano mas masarap, di ba? Oh. Ano yun eh, lagi yung sinasabi yan sa class natin. Masarap at maraming fat. Kasi pwede ka maglagay ng butter, pwede ka kumain ng bacon. Tapos, di mo, alam mo yun, with the short amount of food, mataas ka agad yung calorie intake na kinakain mo. Masarap pa, malinam na. <laughs> so, Mr. Tosay, nyo matutunan yan. <laughs> lagyan mo ng, ato pa, lagyan mo ng oil yung pagkain mo para mas mataas yung fat natin, di ba? So, siguro yun yung, yun yung sagot ko dyan. <laughs> Kaya guys, ano pa ang nanon dyan? Input nyo dyan. <laughs> Coach Linus. <laughs> protein at fat. Sa akin, protein at carbs siguro. Kasi minsan tinapoy sa kawin. Okay na. Ano <laughs> preference yun? Sarap nga rin naman yun. <laughs> ako, ako siguro, ano ba, dapat ba we, we answer this in a scientific manner? So is this a socio-economic thing? Or is it a physiological thing? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, siguro Depende yan sa laman ng bulsa Kung anong kayang bilhin natin Protein or carbs Pero totoo yun I, I agree with Coach Linus and Coach Anjo din naman So, uh, socioeconomic would play another factor dyan And maybe yun nga uh, Inclination to food uh, Nature versus nurture Nako, scientific masyado uh, Hindi po ito pang thesis Okay, these are just opinions. <laughs> Pero, uh, based on studies kasi, di ba, fat has a higher satiety and protein also has a oh, higher yes, satiety. Yes. So, pagka protein plus fat, it could be uh, mas, nakaka, mas nakakabusog, mas masarap. Okay, mm-hmm. eh, mm-hmm. syempre, steak for life. Yeah, good point. Carbs, okay, <laughs> ganyan tayo. Pero for protein and carbs, it could also be uh, para inclination thing. If talaga mahilig, Like nabanggit ni oh. Coach Linus kanina, may mga ma- malakas kumain ng rice, di ba? Uh, like, kunwari, yung wife ko, ano yan eh, no protein plus carbs. <laughs> so, puro tinapay. Masaya na siya sa tinapay. So, siguro, ganun yan. <laughs> okay. Sana walang minus to sa grade. <laughs> Oo <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Coach Hannah, uh, okay na ba? Hi. Okay na. Ano Ayan, na okay tayo? Na. Ito, Coach Hannah, ano sagot mo dyan? Sa na natin na sa screen. Oh, nakapo sa screen. This is coming from service dam. Okay, so ba? Service dam. Uh, yes. <laughs> type ka, Coach Hannah. Sige. Okay. So, wait lang natin kasi gano'n tayo na yung nag-alit-tugal bit ang so. Pero ito yung tanong. Protein plus carbs or protein plus fat ang mas mesherep? <laughs> ano mas mesherep? <laughs> Siya yung nagtanong nito. <laughs> si Service Club. Si Service Club. <laughs> Protein plus carbs or protein plus fat. May sagot na kayo. Mayroon na. Tapos na kayo Ay, na technical difficulty ulit. So anyway, uh, the last question na siguro, sabi, 
Ito yung, okay. yung tinatanong ni Miss April din. So, my plate daw is based okay. on the recommendations of the dietary guidelines for America. Ah. Transportations. Okay. So, siguro related Actually, to... Meron, uh, ano, si Sir Rev, sa class, me, eh, meron sa buong tugas eh, na meron mismo pang panlasang Pinoy ba yun? May plate mismo for Filipino dish. Psychologist. Ayan. I for... Uh, oh, makita, actually, eh. nag-chat yung yes, friend yes, ko, yes. si... Ay, sorry, choppy kasi. Sige, sige, Ay, kusana, nag-chat go, yung friend ko, si, si Aggie. Um, si Aggie, registered nutritionist diet. Ayun. Uh, nag-send siya sa akin ng link. Meron taong updated version ng pinggang Pinoy. Pinggang Pinoy. Ayan. Yun, pinggang Pinoy. Yun, so, yun, 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 yun. yun. Yep. Mismo. Uh-uh. So, yun daw yung for Filipinos. Yun yung latest food guide natin. Yan. Nag-chat sa akin si Agi. Thanks, Agi. RND siya. Thank you so much for that. So, pwede nyo i-search yun sa internet, actually. Pwede rin, kung gusto nyo mabilis ang search, i-google nyo lang pinggang Pinoy. And dun yung ano, different uh, distributions ng carbs, ng food, ng gulay. And dun dun siya. So, I guess that answers a more Filipino, ano, Filipino version of my plate. Yes. Kasi it would help, yeah. di ba, guys? Kasi when it comes to dishes yes, natin, yes. remember, magkaiba nga tayo yes. ng dishes. So how do you fit yung dishes yes. natin into a my plate? Okay, so, uh, Coach Hannah posted the link here para ma, ma ano natin. But again, guys, remember, adaptations would be relatively the same when it comes to reactions to macronutrients and exercise. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right, so... May mga iba pa ba tayong questions? That's it. Wala na? Okay. So anyway... Ayan, may pinost niya na ni Miss Lico sa yung link sa chat group. Okay, so yes, good John. Ano na? Are we good? Oh, I think uh, siguro... Pa-thank you na lang tayo. So, uh, sa akin, uh, thank you sa lahat na nakinig. Uh, viewers, listeners, yes, I hope you so learned much. a lot. Uh, and thank you sa lahat ng feedback, guys. So, at least, uh, hindi at least, we're inspired lalo to share our knowledge to you. Especially on exercise, weight loss, and maybe attaining your fitness goals and helping you out on your fitness. So, I hope you share our page. Diba? Spread the word. We are here to share our knowledge and help you guys with your yeah. so follow our Facebook page. Okay, so meron nagre-remind sa akin dito sa side ko. Okay, so follow our Facebook page and our Instagram. Okay, if you have questions, yeah. don't hesitate to comment and post on our page. We will try to answer it if ever we have time. Diba? And yeah. Yeah. Uh, ano pa ba? Kamukha nung pinapost ni Coach Hanna na links. Diba? We could share we could share links in for for to serve as guidelines for your journeys. Okay, how about you guys? Meron pa ba? Or should we close this na? Siguro ano lang, hindi na nga, but meron din kaming in-offer the services na free assessment, yeah. no? Kung gusto nyo malaman nyo yung current uh, fitness level ninyo yeah. or kung gusto nyo malaman yung body mass index nyo through online lang naman, so we offer a free assessment uh, thing wherein you can just uh, schedule your availability sa page namin. So, uh, yun. Feel free to avail it. Marami yung matututunan pag ginama niyo yun. So, it's more for yourself, not for us. So, we highly suggest that you guys try it out. And, uh, yun. Yes. And yun nga, di ba? Lagi, lagi namin sinasabi kasi na para, syempre, it depends on the goals. It depends on your baseline. So, uh, free naman yung assessment. So, don't be shy. Diba? Nakita niyo naman, mababait naman kami dito. Puro kalokohan. <laughs> scientific kalokohan. Siguro yan yung next stop natin. Why are we inclined with scientific kalokohan natin? Okay. So anyway, thank you guys. Thank okay, you. have a great night. Thank you, thank so you coaches. Thank you, everybody. Okay, thank you, everybody. Bye.